M0FXB. Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're going to get this uh, WF view working wirelessly with our ICOM 705. So I'll take us through it step by step. And, um, and then it's, it is quite good and fun to use. And thanks very much to the developers uh, for this open source free uh, software. So let's do one thing at a time. So first thing, download WFU. So it's very quick download, downloads quick. So go to downloads here. So I'll put the links in the description. So you start off at WFU, then you click download and just click the file here and you'll get the compressed file. And, and then I'll run it, but I, it's already on this computer, but I'll run it. And um, just to show you step by step. So we've got the file there, the zip file, double click, let it run. And then just go next. It will tell me that I've already got it. And as you can see, but go next, next, next. And you're going to have a little W here. Just quit that for now. So we're going to have a little W, and then if you click the, the here, it'll probably show up here, the WFU. And what I do is I right-click it, and I pin it to the task, pin it to my task bar. So anyway, that's that done. Next thing you need is a virtual, a VB audio virtual um, audio. So the reason you need this is because you've got no cables connecting you between the 705 and the computer. So you need like an invisible version. So this software does it so go to this software click download and hopefully it will let me run the process double clip the one here that says setup xc run it in a strict administrator mode yeah it's not letting me run it because it's not an administrator mode but when you do run it what will happen is in your sort of audio settings you will end up with a new selection that if you look on the on the screen here called VB audio virtual cable you will end up with a new one of them so and you're going to be selecting that in the in the in the setting up of WF view so okay you've got that the next one you need is a virtual serial port so you've got your virtual audio going through the air instead of a microphone and now you want your virtual cable that's going from the radio to the laptop so again run this so go to downloads here click download now th this is it's very straightforward to set up there's the setup there and you'll end up with a window that looks like a red a red thing that no, it wants me to repair it so when you you'll end up with a actually not red, a green. See this green square at the bottom here? I might have it up here. No, it's not there. But at the very bottom here, you can see a green square. It looks like a serial port. So when you click it, you've got to add a com. So I always choose a really high com. So to add a com, you just select here. There's like a little gold, gold I don't know, star with a serial port. Click that to add a new one. Then go, leave it a connector, go next like so and then I chose 16 and it's already added it and it says it's initialization okay so you've already created a sort of invisible cable but I'm going to delete that one because I'm using 16 so I've created well it's, it's deleted them both so we'll go we'll do it again from scratch like so we'll go next now you do have to reboot this software when you first installed it then we'll go 16, go to 16, and we'll go, don't bother, worry about the emulate board rate thing, finish. So it's working. Now, don't close this, just minimize it. So you've got your invisible cable done, and you've now got your um, invisible audio done. Okay, so now let's double click WF view, and you'll come up. The main screen looks like this. You probably won't have the scope because I've used mine in the past. It'll probably be blank. But anyway, 
settings are the important ones. So we're in the settings. Now we're going to, before we do this section, I'm going to take you to the radio. Now give me a minute to enlarge that. Right, sorry about the pauses, but I'm just focusing. So, right, on the radio, what you want to do now is you're trying to create a wireless link from the radio to the laptop. So you need to use your wireless LAN and, and your, your access point. So we need to set up access point with a username and password. So mine's turned on at the moment. Let me just go menu, set, and we'll just, for now, we'll just turn off Wi-Fi. So go like that. And then we'll see where it says on. We'll just tap off. It doesn't really make much noise when you do that. But if you look back, you'll see that the Wi-Fi has vanished. So because we're going to use access mode or access sort of Wi-Fi, uh, we need to sort of get that in our, our minds that there are two modes of Wi-Fi of wi in this radio. One is called station mode, which we're not using at the moment. I'm not going to explain that one at the moment. And the other one is access mode. Access mode is basically a wireless link to uh, things that can connect to this radio. So it's like a middleman, but it's actually not connected to the internet. It's connected to things in your local sort of house, like your smartphone, your laptop, etc. So this, this is like, imagine this is like your router with no internet. That's what's happening. So to set that up, we need to give it a, a username and password and see what the IP address is going to be. So go menu, set. And now we're going to go into wireless LAN set. And instead of, forget the on off for now, we're going we're gonna to choose the, the type because we've got two choices here. So we're going to click connection type. And we're going to choose access point. Now we could choose station point. One thing I have noticed is that when you do choose this method, you, you do still have internet on the, on the laptop, but I'm not sure if it will still let you use the program. So I'll try that separate, but for right now, because I know this works, we're going to use access point. So we we'll go access point, we, and we've created a connection. We've selected the connection type, but we haven't given it its settings yet, username and password, because you do need to do that. So go to connection settings, which is right below. Now, if you would, if you had selected station type, you'd you'd have the same thing. You still have to give it a username and password, but the IP address is different. So access point. Now I've given it a password, a username of IC-705, and I've given it a password, which you can't see. But you choose the password and you choose the SSID. Okay. So once you've done that, then go back to wireless LAN and then turn it on and it's just get you get this dull beep but it has worked so what will happen is now what you're going to see on the screen is a white square with black wi-fi emblem now we're not connected yet and when we do connect what's going to happen is it's going to say the words wlan next to it so thing is once we do connect the laptop so now what we do we're going to go back to our laptop settings here and I'll do it while here and we're, instead of we're going to disconnect from the internet you see and then we're going to connect here to our IC705 that thing that says IC705 is coming from the 705 radio so click connect right and it takes a minute to connect You'll know when it is connected because wireless LAN will appear here. So I'm going to just minimize the radio. Right, we're now back at the radio. So when we were in the radio, I don't know if you noticed, but at the bottom of the access point, it gave us our IP address. So um, just have a look back. But it's there at the bottom. When you go into access point settings, scroll to the bottom, and the IP address is 192.168.59.1. And it's the same. So then we want to put in the virtual COM port that we created, which is here. Now, regarding the the uh, audio inputs, we can select the VB, VB audio input output. So select the one that you think you need. So that's output we want. So I'm just trying to find it. And let's just select it on both sides.
Right, so we've got the IP address in. We've selected LAN, COM16. These are default. 5001 is what's already in the radio. Haven't touched this. We've selected here. Now, play around with these if, they're not, if it doesn't work for you. But these are the ones I've selected for now. And then hit connect. When it works, you will suddenly you will hear the radio. Right. So you can hear it, and if you want, you can select different things there, and you can either hear it on the radio, or on the, or on the um, computer. So let's go back to view, and let's do it full screen. Now I am recording as well on my phone, but it won't let me record on the laptop, so I'll have to sort of add it on to the end of the video so you can see what happened. Anyway, so here we are, we're all connected, wirelessly to the radio, we can tune through the band, just scrolling my, my mouse, I'll turn it up so you can hear it. I mean, I am new to this, but it's all wirelessly working. We can, if we had a tuner, we can tune. Turn it down a bit. We can change scope, you know, different colors. Quite cool, isn't it? There you are, we'll leave it on red. We've got span we can set here. We can change the step. Look at that. That makes it. Like so. Let's have a look what else we got here. Transmit, yeah. We can transmit if we want. We can tune. Just looking around. Repeater, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, you, oh yeah, of course, it's uh, 705. We can do FM. I think it'll probably go silent when I go into DR mode. I'll just put it into DR mode and see. Oh, no, it's still receiving DR mode. That's pretty good, isn't it? The DR mode is all coming through. Can't say I see all the information that you get on the screen, but you're getting all the scope stuff. Having a little play. There you go. Uh, through my uh, uh, open spot three, um, I do once in a while cross over to uh, DMR. Uh, and uh, also, when I'm out and about, I've been known to have my DMR HD with me. So just changing the different scope settings there. You've got scroll C, scroll F. The span you can change. So I think it's pretty cool. What's this? Edge. Change the edge. Look. Like so. We were on one. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, that's for here. I can see if you back click there, but uh, in all notes, you're using your icon 4100. So basically, enable ATU. Have a li have a little play, isn't it? Let's go back at the settings. There's your transmit. Oops, shouldn't be transmitting on top of all these people. <laughs> uh, so I think it's good, and uh, thanks very much to the developers. I'm going to put chuck all this on YouTube. Give it a go. It's wireless. Uh, there's another video um, to connect using the USB cable, which is. You know, the difference is I'll just, because I'm already here, I'll show you. And that is you just, instead of selecting this connect wireless LAN, you connect, you select connect over USB. And then you just literally just.
put in uh, I put in 94H here and it worked straight away. I'll obviously select the your USB COM port which will be different. It won't be a virtual. It will just be uh, ordinary. So 7.3, hope you have fun with this. Thanks very much again to anyone that's involved in this project. It's free. Let's give it a go. Let's try it out. 7.3, all the best. Right. So you can hear it, and if you want, you can select different things there. You can either hear it on the radio, or on the, or on the um, computer. So let's go back to view, and let's do it full screen. Now I am recording as well on my phone, but it won't let me record on laptop. So I'll have to sort of add it onto the end of the video so you can see what happened. 